Tom, in trying to wrestle with the concept of what is fundamental reality, what, what is it all about? Some people, you would say there's God and everything proceeds from that. I can't go there. I'd like to, but, but can't. So I, I'm looking at the universe. And the scientific way, as, we, as I've been trained, you naturally think re, re, in terms of reduction, in terms of, of explaining the, the biology by the chemistry, chemistry by the physics, physics by the nuclear physics, and you get down to fundamental theory and a search for a theory of everything and all, all, all of that, and then going back up and explaining everything. There's great tension in that. Most people think it's very difficult to do, if not impossible. And the concept of emergence has has emerged yeah. as a way of being able to explain the physical world. And I yeah. have some problems with that, and I'd mm -hmm. like you to tell me, I know you've been involved in mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. um, in terms of what emergence is yeah. and how it works, and then I'll have some questions. Okay, so great. So uh, the question here is, as I see it, uh, is an alternative between two types of world. It's an empirical question. It's, it's about causal agents. Um, I should just say briefly what it's not. I mean, the, no, one, um, ob no one objects to the idea that there are things called clouds. And we say cloud rather than a billion, billion little droplets of water that are about a micron inside, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, so that's a weak emergence. Right, we know right. it's useful to talk, and you, right. you would have no objection to talk about the emergence of coarse-grained objects that are worth talking about the following. Sure, sure, okay. sure. So that's a weak emergence. And, and of course, um, we do this. I, I work on, on polymers in the science. I work macromolecules, giant molecules, and I don't know where every single atom in that polymer is. I know it's a giant string dancing around, yeah. and we, we treat it at, at that level. Biologists work at cells, and they, they, they so that's all right. The strong, what someone's called strong emergence, is the idea that um, uh, the causal agents, the right, the right way of understanding cause and effect in this universe right. that we live in, we might live in a universe where all the causal agents are down at this atomistic level and everything goes up like that, or nature might be otherwise. There might be causal agents here, but there might be other fundamental causal entities that are more complex and larger scale. Um, so that's that's how I like to articulate emergence. Fact, emergence is a very bad word for it because these things don't emerge; they're just there. They're just right, there, right, right, they're just right. there. Um, and, and, and they came because everything started very small and as it aggregated together, th those laws of, um, of of causal agents that are larger entities were always there. They always be always potential and, and, and the potential, yeah. the possible. And, and when those kinds of things uh, uh, came together through the long efforts of gravity yeah. primarily, but other other right. forces, uh, then they they began to work, but they were yeah. always there. Yeah. So they were sort That's of right. yeah. in the structure of reality, however they yes. got there. That's right. That's right. So, um, but of course, this, pro this whole project is largely philosophically motivated by, by what's called the philosophy of mind. Um, but, but from my view, to tackle the mind problem first is, is a kind of crazy thing to do yeah. because, because minds are incredibly right, kind of right, complex. Right, 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 um, right. That if we live in a top-down universe where, where causal agents, there are macroscopic causal agents, we should first be able to look at much simpler instances where that's right. the case. So that's been the, the project I've been involved okay, with. So here's, 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 here's my problem yeah. with that. I just have a very simple question. Yeah. In, in the causal agents being these larger entities, yeah. is it possible in principle to be able to disaggregate them in terms of their parts and be able to predict that they there would be there. I think you have to answer no to that. That's correct. That in principle, it's impossible. Yeah. I'll give you an example. So we've had a, a piece of work we've done with, between philosophers and physicists on, uh, on a, 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 a phenomenon called the fractional quantum Hall effect. Okay. Um, Bob Laughlin, Nobel yeah, Prize yeah, winner, yeah, yeah. great, interesting, Oxford One of our friends. So one of our friends, I'm sure <laughs> it is. Okay, well, Bob will tell you um, that uh, the 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 uh, fractional quantum hall states um, y you can't build them out of the electrons. There's no way, even in even in the quantum mechanical representation of 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 of, of, of the world, these states just are. So when the electrons are confined to these tiny surfaces with these large magnetic fields cooled right down, um, there there is there is no way that you can reduce. Okay. So, so let me give you a simple like, example that that um, is the opposite, and you you, mm -hmm. you you distinguish between the two examples. Well, I only need one example that that, that, that works to show you that what our world is like. Uh, so I'm uh, sure okay. there are. But, 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 but I want to test whether that's that's impossible in principle, 
or impossible for us to know under our current understanding of mm -hmm. science. There's a huge difference in that. So I'm going to give you an example where we can predict it from mm -hmm. Earth, and that's, mm -hmm. and that's water, mm -hmm. uh, H2O. So yeah. if you measure hydrogen, if I, if I put in your lab, and you're mm -hmm. a great uh, uh, you know, physical chemist and soft polymer, so I give you a canister of oxygen, canister of, uh, of, of hydrogen, and you do all your tests on that and everything else, and, and then I, I show you a glass of water, and say, can you predict? And, and, and it looks impossible to go from those gases. But if you know the detailed physical chemistry and you know the bonding angles, how they come in, yeah. you can be able to ultimately to predict the, the, the concept of, of liquidity and what it means for molecules to pass over yes. each other because you know the details of the chemical bonds and all yeah. of that. So whereas it looked like it was impossible in principle, when you knew enough science, you could then predict the, all the qualities of water, yeah. which look like an emergent quality. Yeah. So why is it not the case that in every case of emergence, it's just that we don't know enough of, of the science, even at the mm, fundamental level of string theory oh, or see. whatever? Right, so, so two things here. Oh, so, so one is, by the way, I can't take you to my lab because I'm a theoretician. Oh, uh, they don't yeah. let me in a lab. Oh, Terrible oh, things okay. happen if yeah, I try right, to do this. Right, right. So I have to do this thought experiment, okay, but I know what you mean. Right. Um, and we can do it on a computer. So actually, you're right. So I, I want, I'm not claiming that, that every emergent entity is a strongly emergent one, or that we cannot explain uh, course, that's what I do. I, I mean, my, my, my career is to do exactly what you do. I explain the yeah, behavior yeah, yeah, right, of right, actually more right. complex liquids. So my, right. I've been interested right, 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 in okay, the flow okay, of really okay, tangled okay, plastic well, liquids that bounce as right, well as flow. You, you know more than I do about on, that. On I the molecules, that's what we do. Of course, reductionism works yeah. in our universe. Does it work in every, in every case? Is it a complete account? Those are two different different I, I, questions. I, I, I want to push and, on that because I, I, I cannot say that um, every emergent uh, uh, um, example that you're using is not at some point reducible to a deeper level of physics uh, well, understanding. It, the answer is it might be. This is my point. This is an empirical uh, question. Right. We might live in a universe in which what you say is the case, in which would be a, a, a maximally reductionist universe. Or we might live in a universe where there are causal active agents that are irreducible. Yeah. And, and, and if that were the case, I would wonder how that could be without any vitalism involved, without something new involved in the process. Well, that's just because you haven't got your mind, and I haven't got my mind. We haven't got a mind through the incredibly rich potentiality of matter. I don't think we need to be dualist about this at all. I don't, don't, don't think we need to reach to, to uh, we, I don't think we need to get to vitalism at all. And little clues like the fractal quantum hall wave function, like the fact that... So it's an open question to you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an, an open question it's an open whether question. every single uh, emergent uh, um, example ultimately could be reduced. It's an open question. Well, it's an open question, but the evidence is pointing, for me, the evidence is pointing strongly at the no. It, the evidence is pointing strongly that there are Im uh, there, there are causal immersion agents. Oh, like by the way, you and me. No, that, that's a, it's, when you deal with mind. That, that, that's, <laughs> well, I, I that's cheating. I'm sorry. Like I that's said we weren't going to go. I, I was. I did cheat, but but like so because I said we wanted to go to simpler places. Right. Okay, true.